in our previous session we have seen card demo and also we have seen what we are going to build from this section so now in this section we are going to build this user interface for shop it first we are going to create the static one then we are going to fetch the data from the database and from there we are going to display the products here i will open my visual studio code and inside this main folder i am just going to create one file i will just give the file name as shop products dot php i will copy this file name now this file name is created i will come to header dot php now if i come to my project i will refresh this when i click on shop it i am in the same page but when i click on shop it i should go to shop products php so inside this anchor tag inside this href i'm just going to paste the file name save again i will come to my project refresh this now when i click on shop it i am redirected to shop products dot php now in this page we are going to make the user interface we are going to display all the products that are available inside the store i will come here show products dot php i will close this left panel control b i will close all the files inside this i'm just going to write basic html i will just write here shop products hyphen project okay only to understand the differences between demo project and the original project i have just written project here now first thing we are just going to link our header i will just write one comment header and below this i will be writing php include and what we are going to include we are going to include our header dot php i will save this now i'll refresh my project you can see header is displayed but as i have not linked css file stylings are not applied so i will be linking my css file as well as font awesome i will come to index.php and from here i'm just going to copy both this links copy close this and below this i'm just going to paste now if i just refresh this one you can see all the stylings are applied and this cart number what it is showing here that is static number which we have displayed inside our header you can see inside this header we are having the static number 4 so that is displayed later on based on art to cart dynamically we are going to increase that cart number as well i will close this first step we have just created the file second we have written basic html template we have linked our header and also we have linked css file and font awesome link below this header i will be creating one diff and for this diff i will just give the class name as container whatever class name you want you can give but for this classes i have already given the stylings and i have pasted the stylings code in my fifth video if you are using the same classes and if you want the stylings you can go and copy from there i will save now if i just refresh this one you can see light gray color is been applied as my background color inside this diff container i will be creating one section and for this section i will give class name as products inside this section i will write h1 i will give the class name as heading and for this heading let me just write here let shop whatever titles you want you can give save close now i'll refresh this one you can see let shop heading is displayed and in my demo project also this heading is displayed these are my products 
for this product what i am going to do i am going to wrap this entire product inside one diff container below this h1 i am going to write one diff and for this diff i will just give the class name as product container product container okay this container is for all the products but for individual products i will be creating separate container i am going to create one more diff and for this diff i will just give the class name as edit form first i am having image as of now i will give the static path control b images folder let me just write here headphone headphone dot png i will save this now if i just refresh this one you can see images displayed okay this diff what you can see the outer div is for all the products but this inner div is for individual products first i have the image then we have one heading i will use h3 and inside this i am just going to give headphone this is static data save i will come i will refresh this you can see headphone is displayed we have this image we have heading then we have price i will come here for price you can use either paragraph or any headings as of now i will be using diff and for price i will give the class name as price i will just write here price dollar and let me just write here 12000 whatever you want you can give i will refresh this now price is also displayed now finally we are having this add to cart button i will come here below this div when we click on add to cart button all the information should be stored inside one table and from that table we have to fetch the details so we are going to create input field for the button we are not going to create the normal button we will be creating input field for the button input our type will be submit because when we click on submit button only then the data will be stored inside the database for this i am going to give the class class let me just write here submit submit btn i will be giving one more class that is cart btn okay both the stylings whatever stylings i am having for both the classes both the stylings will be applied to this button save i will change the spelling headphone i will refresh this now you can see i am having submit button but i want add to cart so what i will be doing inside this input field i will give the value value is equal to add to cart save this now if i just refresh this one you can see add to cart data is displayed now in the same way i will copy this inside this section copy below this i paste and below this i will paste save this i will refresh this one you can see the cards are displayed so what we have done basically we have just created one entire diff section inside that we have created separate diff sections for every card and this entire diff section is wrapped inside one section which is wrapped inside our diff container we have done with our basic html as of now we have displayed the static data if you can see i will refresh this one this is my static data now you will come to view products i am having only one data that is laptop but inside my shop i am having three data and all this are static i cannot change this one so from next session we are going to build on dynamic data how to get this data 
how to store this data inside the table and what table we are going to store this data everything we are going to see from next session